Oh yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Gotta control her. Mm -hmm. She's already looking at him like, why don't you think this is about you? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. It's not your day. It's not your day. You just get to watch today. I'm pulling your hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did it right. <laughs> Do you want to design your own puzzle? Or did we finish the one that we tried last? Okay. Do you want to use your creativity? And, oh, what happened to your ground tying behaviors? Huh? You're supposed to be ground. Okay. If you wanted to have her tied up there. She ground tied last time fine, but this time she did move up a second. But we'll see. Okay. Unless you prefer me to... No, no, she's fine. Okay. I don't want to stress anybody out. Right, yeah. I, I stopped myself from even mentioning that part. It's hard when you got to do the own, your own creativity, isn't it? Especially when you just woke up. <laughs> and if you guys pick up a couple more cones, then you can be even more creative. But, it's, you know, honestly, probably the most cones I use is six, but I think on average I use five. Oh, I just thought of one, but it will be hard. So, how about... <laughs> she stopped herself and she stuck up. Uh-huh. Ground tying again. He just lost the privilege to, to be responsible.
Okay, so, with the intention of doing a figure eight above, we'll back him to this cone, the beginning. So you have to back through these to that cone. Then we choose a direction. We ask him to go out and around. He's going to come through here. Almost. He's going to come through here like he's going to go out and around this one, but then you're going to stop and have him this one and then finish that piece of the figure eight. Does that make sense? He's going back to here, go out and around. Send him to the truck, stop him, back him up, hind yield him, side pass him over this, and then he goes out and around this one, back through here, and then comes to you and stops. That's going to be hard. You're allowed, you're allowed to, you're, you stay standing here for most of it, but you're allowed to move in for that. Because when he goes that way, you're going to have to back him up from a, from a side backup, right? Because his nose will be way over there. So you're going to have to lob it in your hand like coins in your hand to get him to back up. Once his front feet are even with that cone, then you're going to tell his tail to swing that way. You might even want his front feet, like his toes, even with the back of his cone before you swing his hind end. Because when you swing his hind end, he will swing this front leg at least. Yeah. And then over. And then he's going to come back through here. And then you're going to send him back through here. You're not going to side pass that again unless you want to. Or you can stop him. And then bring him. Well, that would add an extra challenge because you have to go have him go sideways the second, the other direction. It's not going to be any, that's not an easy one, like even for, like, even if you do puzzles all the time and you're pretty good at it, that's not an easy one. Yeah. Okay. So, so basically till his back feet touch that. Okay. And then he's around this one. Here. Through, like you're going to send him to the water or something. Okay. He, stops. he stops. He has to back, so actually you want to send him to like, like my passenger door of my truck. Because okay. you, want, you want him to kind of. Because if he's going like this, then you back him up, he's going to back up like this. But if you send him like this, when you tell him to back up, he's going to back up more like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's fine. Like she knew for that split second that he was. And then side pass. Go out and around, come through. You, you can add. Want, where you back through here, stop sideways, and then come around and meet you. <laughs> Good. Oh, got a bomber. It just flew away, but it's here for us. Yep. So now you tell him to back up. So you can lead him back over there if you want. You have a long way to go from here. Yep, that's his tail to swing, swimming. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Tail, tail, tail. Yep. 
Yep, there you go, there you go, he's got it. So instead of saying no, say back, because that is ultimately, that is ultimately what you want him to do next. So we're going to try not to, it, it's actually, it's kind of happening with everybody. The word back with no and at, at. It's not last week. So when you want him to back up, if we're trying to correct him back and So go ahead and see if you can't get them back over there. So don't let his front feet move at all now. You're going to wiggle the line and say, don't go forward. So be prepared, though. Yep, there you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. It's okay. Stop his front feet. That was good. There you go. So that's how you're going to tell his front feet to not move when he starts to move his front feet. Just, just like you just did. But see, you got ahead of it. You didn't wait until he was already walking, right? So that's what you want to do. As you see him start to think to move forward, get ahead of it. Don't wait till he's walking. To So he's got a little forward thought that front right foot's probably going to move fairly quickly. So just tell his tail to move, but then pay attention to that front right foot's about to move forward. There it goes. Good. 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 There you go. Back. Tell him to back up front right. Yep. Get as loud as you have to, and then get as quiet as you can. Yep. Good. Okay. So we're gonna. I'm gonna give it to you. So just send him out and around that cone, and send him through. So nope. Send him. You're gonna get out of the way. He's gonna come towards you. Point and kiss. Give him some energy on his shoulder to drive him forward. There you go. Now you get back, You want he's going to come in front of you. It's like the regular figure eight. So you're going to stay here. You're going to send him around that cone. You're going to send him through. You're not going to be all the way over there. You need to be on this side of his nose. Yep. Then you're going to tell his nose to go to the passenger door of my truck. And then you're going to stop him, and then you're going to back. And you're going to sign past him. Do that and, and then you're gonna be done. <laughs> yep. Yep. Good. There you go. Good. Now stop him. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You didn't give him enough rope to, to go where, you, and you didn't give him actually any sense of direction. So you want him to believe, a hundred percent. He needs to go over there and put his nose on that door handle. Like, have, like, actually think that. Like, I want him to go put his nose on that door handle. This way he can pick up what you're trying to tell him, and you'll be more likely to be direct thinking about that, so that way he knows what to do. So tell him, go put your nose on that door handle. So go ahead and facing that. Send him through. Tell him, go put his nose on my door. And you're going to stop him. When he gets about here, 
Then you can back them up till his feet, front feet pass it. Mm -hmm. You can even go ahead and just send him through there. Send him to my door handle. Make sure he has enough rope to do it and his nose is pointed in the right direction. Yep, yep, there you go, there you go, good, good. Now stop. So how about I'll give you, I'll break it, I'll break that away and we'll go, we'll do the figure eight first to make sure that you're comfortable doing the figure eight because we just added that which messes up the figure eight. So the figure eight, back him through. You stay here, back him through. Pick a direction, have him go out and around that way. Send him to the camper because now it's a little bit different because we don't want him to go on an angle. We want him to go to the camper next. I think he's supposed to go over there and touch the gooseneck hitch. Okay. Then, no, you're gonna, yeah, you're going to back him through. Yep. So his nose has to come past those cones in order to properly execute this. Tell him to go this way. Tell him to go to that big tree that you see most of the trunk on. Hands in your rope, send him to the camper. Make him believe that he's supposed to be to the push out of the camper. Okay? Send him, send him, then guide him gently around until he gets back to you. You can either stop him when he gets back to you, or you can send him back through, which then in that case you would send him to like where the op like that first post where the opening is. So that way you always want to make him You're sending him to a destination away. Visual idea of what you're trying to tell them to do. You should be standing right here the whole. He does everything in front of you. He never gets behind you. you he does everything in front of you. Good boy. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Why don't you turn around and look at him from the other angle? Or why don't you back up into the shade? That might even be nicer, huh? He's fine. You're a good girl. Side passed over. You're a good boy, Yankee. Yep, tell his tail only to move into that space. Tell him to back up. He just doesn't know what you want him to do with his feet. So send him till his front feet are here. Spin his tail away. Like kind of make it kind of a I need you to do this for me kind of feel. Like make just giving him a job. Right? Because if if we do it kind of slow, he's You know, he has to wander around in there. Yep, yep. There you go, there you go, there you go. Good, good, good. And he's allowed to be loved on. Good. Okay, go ahead and back him up till. Good 
Be as loud as you have to, as quiet as you can. One more. Good. 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 I'm glad. See, you had to get really loud and then you got quiet again. So you weren't just being a jerk. You said, hey, excuse me, did you not hear me? You know, but then you, you said, and this is all I was saying, right? Because you, you, if, if you get really loud and then you stay really loud and you're doing what you want, then it makes it really hard for them to trust that you're going to get quiet. And then they get just kind of offended. Yes. So in his case, that was very, very good what you just did. No, I was more curious how it's done. I was just watching the process. <laughs> yeah, you don't even move. You stay back now. You don't even take a step back at all. You're going to try to keep your feet as still as possible for the whole thing. So he's right now, he's supposed to believe. He's such an agreeable guy, you know that? Okay, so the corner of your property where your fence meets the, the trees, that's what you want him to think he's supposed to do, so you want to ask him that way. Once he turns his nose that way, you're going to kiss for him to go. So put kind of your outside energy. You're not going to actually ever touch his nose with the rope. You're just going to put energy like right here to say, I think you should move your nose, see? Good. 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 Change hands, tell him to do the, go to the push out, get this eye, get this side of his nose. Good, good. Make him think he's going like to your dumpster. Good, good. Guide him towards you again. Send him back to the opening in that fence. That's okay, I know I said you could do either or, but make him think he's going to the opening of that fence. Because you didn't, right? You actually looked down. So we want to make sure that we're telling him, like, I think you should go that way. You want him to actually, I mean, that, that was a drama, dramatized version of it, but you want him to think you're telling him to go that way. He has to believe that he's being told to go to a destination. Otherwise, he is just going to just wander around. Yep, make him think he's supposed to go to the dumpster. Good. There you go. See, he's looking right at the dumpster. Good job. Good, good. Make him think he's supposed to go to that opening in the fence. Get his nose, get his nose, get his nose, good. Tell him, make sure your hand's open enough for the line. There you go, good, good. And now bring him to you and tell him that he's, he's done a good. Good boy. You did great, buddy. That was good. Now, when you finally focused on, on sending him to the dumpster, he looked right at the dumpster. Like, he had, an, he had a destination. You're like, okay, I'll go there. Right? Where before, he was kind of like, I don't know, I, I guess I'll go this way. Well, wait, did you really want me to go this way? You know, like, he had no real confirmation that what he was doing was even the right answer. Okay. So, we have to get his up and his aim good, right? We have to aim his tail. So, I always call it steering by his tail. We have to steer his tail in between these two cones and then ask him to back up. So go ahead and steer his tail between those two cones. Yes. Yes. There you go. Now back him through. Yep. Get his, no, don't, don't replace it with no. Just keep back, 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 back. Till he backs up, till he backs up. And stop. Good. Okay, now bring him back. So you can't ever quit when they're moving forward can't ever quit till you get at least one backup step. So ho instead of no would have been okay. Like there is a time when no is appropriate, so I can't take no away from you, but yeah. I don't want you to use it where it, another word would have been better. You coming here? No, he's coming too fast. So, what would you have to do right now to help him not get in trouble with that cone? 
yep, you can move his tail, or you can even move his front end towards the road. And then, and then his tail, you know, you can kind of do like a windshield wiper thing, like nose, tail, nose, tail. Hind end, hind end, he's still going to have his front feet, where if you ask him to back up, he still could potentially hit that with his front feet. Energy on his shoulder, stop him from going forward. He's fine! You're a good boy, Yankee. Yep. But I still want you to back him through. Steer his tail into there and back him through. Good? Good. And eventually you'll replace the words, don't go forward, with just the wiggle that will help him know. So he's actually not going forward. Yep, there you go. He actually wasn't going forward. He was going sideways that time. <laughs> good, good. He knows. He knows. Tell him what to do now, because he's offering. Good boy. Let him. Yep. You can go with him for a little bit, and then I'm gonna have you back him away from you. Yep. Tell him. Mean it. Yep. The steer's tail. Yep. Good. Yep, yep. So you're blocking him from backing up at that time. You kind of pulled him forward. That's why he came forward. You're like you're blocking him again, so you make him forward again. Go ahead and, and hind yield him towards the truck. Oh, we got a bomber. That's a heap up. I forgot it. Um, I saw you go him. Okay. I just don't want to get kicked trying to help him. Okay. Okay. Don't go forward. Good. You can back him up because you. Good. Tail. Stop his front feet, stop his front feet. There you go, there you go, there you go. Stop his front feet, there you go. And sometimes you have to turn down the volume of chasing his tail because that might be what's encouraging faster forward. So sometimes you just have to forward and put your focus very sh without putting too much energy on his tail because you might be just driving him faster forward. Give him a little bump on his nose towards your belly button. Yep, there you go, like a bump, yep. Kind of like a tapping them on the shoulder, like, excuse me, I'm talking to you. Yep, 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 good, I'm glad he, see, he just said, you don't want me to go forward, you don't want me to go back, what do you want me to do? You can go ahead and step out around him, around him a little bit to say, move your tail, yep. Bump his nose, there, excellent, excellent, good. Bump his nose a little bit towards your belly button. He's going to do it now. Yep, yep, yep. Stick with it for a second. Step out a tiny bit, but don't get, don't get much louder because you're going to spin him out of there. Step out towards his butt a little bit. Bump his nose towards your belly button. And stop back. Back. <laughs> Clear. It's just a, a matter of putting it all really together. But that was, I mean, you were being much more clear than you'd been so far. You can have him go sideways if you want. Tell his front end and his hind end to move together by looking at his ribs. You can forget all the tools you already have. Take advantage of the fact that he's so parallel that you can just 
step him over sideways. Yep, put your energy on his shoulder, put your energy just to get him started. And when he goes to go forward, tell him not to go forward, and then put your energy on his rib cage. But don't go forward. There you go. But good. Back. Yep. Yep. Pump his nose slightly towards your belly button. Step out there, bump his nose slightly towards your belly button. There you go. There you go. Back. Back. There you go. Back. Back. You got it. Back. Just don't mess it up now. <laughs> back. Give him the line when you get him to backing away from you. Yep. Back. There you go. There you go. Back. 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 Mean it. Step in there like you're going to charge his chest if he doesn't go. There you go. Back. Back. Yep. As loud as you have to and as quiet as, as you can. Good. Good. There you go. Okay. Send him to the corner of your property. Put your support on his shoulder after you get him to think to turn his nose. Get his nose turned and then tell his shoulder. There you go. Tell his shoulder. Tell his nose again because it's coming out of that position. Yep, so make him think. You have to focus on there. I want you to go over there. I want you to go over there. Good. Good. See how he's already like, oh, the property corner? I got that. Good. Now, the dumpster. The dumpster. Make him think he's supposed to go to the dumpster. Get his nose coming around. Yep. Yep. You can swing the rope out so it's, you know, where it kind of makes it should one his nose not there. Yep, as soon as he turns his nose and shows you his shoulder, you're going to kiss for him to go. There you go. Good. Good. There you go. Good. Send him back through so make him think he's going to that opening of that other fence. Yep. Yep. There you go. There you go. Yay. Bring him back to you. And then give him a nice rub because he did everything you told him to do. Good boy. Okay. So. Try that again. The extra step. Which again makes it really hard even if you're in a good day. It's a hard puzzle. Or here's the other option. I can put it not so far in there. You can back him up, side pass him off of it, and then do, you know, like back him up on this side of the way. Then tell him to go towards the corner of the property coming around here, right? So in other words, start it by backing him. So it would, get, it would make it side pass him over it. Then you're going to figure eight with that cone still there. Okay. Easier. So he has to back up between this cone and this cone and then go sideways over this cone, stop, get a sense of direction to go like to the and then go out Man, I thought it was supposed to get cooler. This is not cool. Yep. Yep. Quite a bit. Good boy. Don't go forward. Yep. There you go. Good, good, good. There you go. Good. Give him a little pet, though, for that. Because that, he finally did stop his front feet. Look at how he's got this one. I mean, it's kind of twisted, right? He finally stopped his front feet because he's like, oh, that's not what you wanted. So you, you kind of want to reward all that effort that they teach, like, ah, oh, I was uncomfortable. <laughs> yep, yep. Bump his nose slightly towards your belly button. Good, there you go. Yep. Loud as you have to, as quiet as you can. 
to charge his chest when he doesn't go anywhere. Slap him in the chest if you have to. So make him make him think that that shot is coming. Like make him think that you're coming in to give him that shot in the chest. Toes tail. Bump his nose towards your belly button. Hold on, it's about a fly. Bump his nose towards your belly button. Yep, yep. Oh, good job. Good. Yep. Don't go forward. Back, 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 back. Good. There you go. Good job. Good. Now just back. Just keep him straight and back him up. If he's backing up true, he'll back up straight. So you've got it. Don't die out on him. Back. Back. Steer his tail now. Don't go forward. Yep, back. There you go. You got it. Go. You got it. 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 Steer his tail slightly. Don't go forward. Back. Yep, there you go. There you go. Good job. Good. Back. There you go. Back. He just didn't believe you. You knew those cones were there. Good. See, he's inspecting all the cones. Good. Now, now turn his tail towards the opening of that fence. There you go. Good job. Just his tail. Bump him towards your belly button a little bit. Yep. Good job. There you go. See, you found, see how you found your energy for him. Good. Good. Now you're going to tell him to go. If you want his front feet a little closer to that one cone that you're going to side pass over. So you can back him up a little bit. And then you're going to ask him, you're going to focus on his rib cage, and you're going to ask him to go sideways over that cone. Good. There you go. Good. And that's, I'm, yep. Good. Yes. Good job. Yep. Focus on his ribs. Yep. Got the forward with the front feet, get the hind feet to catch up. It's okay, it's okay, because he kind of did it. He just didn't do it over the cone. That's okay though, but he kind of did it. So go ahead and just finish the figure. I don't want you to, that was a really good change hand. Tell him to go to the dumpster. Get his nose, get his nose, get his nose, get his nose. So you can bump him to get his nose. Like, yep, yeah, you can bump, yep, there you go. Yep, now tell him what to do. Tell him, send him to that dumpster. He has no idea, you're looking down. It's because he, he, yep, he went exactly where you told him to go, right? Because mm -hmm. that's where you said, you're like, oh, there's the cone. He's like, okay, I'll go there. <laughs> where, <laughs> he would have gone, okay, I'll go there. There you go. Tell him. Tell him the dumpster. Tell, oh, I didn't have to go out. Tell him the dumpster. You give him the focus of the dumpster. There you go. Good. Good. That whole puzzle again. And I know you got it now. Everything, I mean, that, to be perfectly honest with you, if you didn't want to use your last 10 minutes, that's the perfect place to end because you did, you, you did with the right energy. You only wanted a step, so you weren't like going crazy, right? So you weren't chasing him. You were, your energy matched the movement you were looking for. You got him to back up instead of go forward. So everything you did in that puzzle was perfect. Okay, so end Good note. That's a good note for both of you to end on. If you want to continue, that's fine too. If you want to make it, you know, the chance that it'll be better, but you also have the chance that it won't. Completely up to you. Okay. Yeah, no, I agree. I'll clean this up and then, then I'll let her go. So she doesn't come over here and just chase in. You did good, buddy. Yeah, and see, his energy, he can get his energy really revved up sometimes where he gets worried. And that's the only reason why he puts any fire in his feet, because he gets worried. He just wants to do the right thing. And then when you get loud, you worry him even more. But that was completely done in slow motion, but with such... Okay, yeah, all right, I can do that. Yep, uh-huh. Okay, yeah, you are. Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that too. You know, like, he totally was, like, having a conversation with you. So I'm very, very happy with that last one. Would you like
Okay, tied here. I'm so mean, so mean. There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead, you're free. Okay. You don't have to stay there anymore. Good girl. He's like, save me. She's coming. <laughs> That's actually a huge compliment. turns her head like my Katie does. Like Katie's is, is like, was, oh, she got excited. Mm -hmm. Does that usually mean we're going to come in when she hears that noise? Uh, no, no. The, the, the gate, she got all excited like she thought um, that, that meant something to her. Maybe, because that's when we were used Yeah. she hears that, I might. She got all excited like, oh, what does that mean for me? What does that mean for me? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. 